Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make a front door mat. Oh yeah, just real quick, look at my shirt. I made it myself. Like, I'll turn. Hopefully y'all can see. It's cute, right? Ho ho! <laughs> I mean, I think so. Hey guys! So here I am going to show you how to create your own design for your welcome mat on Cricut Design Space. First thing you want to do is open a text box, just tap the T and type Hey Boo, the Reeves. Hey, the neighbors have better stuff, I hope you like dog hair, whatever sprinkles your donuts. And then go over to where it says font name and pick one of the fonts. By the way, I am screen recording on my iPhone because I wanted to show you that you can do this straight from your phone. I forgot to mention the purple pink squares for my template size. I made it 11 by, I'm sorry, 11.5 inches by 23.5 inches. For my font, I decided to use Belinda. I feel like deciding on the font is important because for me, it sets the mood. I don't know, am I crazy? You are going to click and drag on one of the white squares in the corner to resize. Next, click on images. It has the cute hot air balloon. Since we are making a Halloween mat in the search bar, we are going to type in ghost. I like to pick several images, then decide which one looks best with my font. Once you have all your images selected, click on the Mint Add button on the bottom right. Now we are going to click on each ghost and move them out of the way so that you can click and drag the little ghost and see which one you prefer. Take your time, remember that all your neighbors will see this when they pass by your house and it's gotta be cute just like you. Once you decide which little guy you like, adjust the size of your letters and of your little ghost. Now press your finger down and drag over the images you don't want and hit delete. With your rectangle selected under Edit, find your Arrange button and press Bring to Front. Here we are pressing down on the screen from the right side under our design, dragging over both images and placing these on your purple rectangle. Once you have your image where you want it, under Actions, press Slice. Click on your image and drag it down. The sliced layers will separate. Select the layers you are not going to use and press delete. Here you have your template. Hit the floppy disk at the top right and save your project. I like to save all my designs to the cloud. When you get this project and compatible message, simply go to layers on the bottom right to see what's going on. Click on the yellow warning sign. The machine here tells me to reduce my image to 11.5 inches by 23.5 inches because the Cricut machine only allows those as the bigger measurements for cutting. That's why at the beginning I gave you the right measurements. When this happens, don't get discouraged if at first you can't figure it out. Be patient. To change the size of your template under actions, click on width, type in 23.5. Click on height and type in 11.5. I think I did 23 inches, not sure why, but it's still close to the size I need, so that's okay, it won't affect it. I'm not gonna stress out about it. Once you're ready, hit the green make it button. For future reference, remember to turn mirror on if you were doing iron on vinyl. Hit next and bam! My machine is not even connected to my phone. That's alright. We are going to go to our settings. 
Bluetooth. I'm going to select my maker. Select whatever Cricut machine you have. Wait for it to say connected. Switch over to our design space. Hit next again. And yay, it's time to select our material type. In this case, it's vinyl. For pressure, I always select more. Load your tools and mat. Make sure the right blade is installed BT dubs. My mat is in place. The machine arrow means load, unload. The power button is blue because it is connected to my phone. The Cricut button will flash white, meaning it's ready to cut. When you're ready, press it. And that baby will do its thing. She's done cutting my design. Hopefully it shows up well on camera. Please don't forget to hit the unload button. If you pull it out, you will mess up your machine. All done. Hit save again, just in case. Okay guys, so this is an 18 by 30 mat I got at Home Depot. The template is smaller than the actual mat and that's okay. I'm going to be using this leftover paint from a dresser I refurbished. Here's the color info if you want it and also for the black. The sample sizes go a long way and I got this from Home Depot too. I'm going to use these foam brushes from a pack I got at Hobby Lobby for $4.99. Looking back, I don't like these brushes. I'll probably use the regular brushes with the little hairs. I'm also using a heat gun to speed up the dry time. Here's our design. Place your design on the mat and take your heat gun to it. It helps get it closer to the mat. It kind of makes it easier when painting your design. Use tape to keep the vinyl in place at the beginning if you like. First, I am going to paint my ghost white. Once that's dry, take your black paint and paint the rest of the design. If you have several colors, I suggest painting the other colors first and your black last if that's your outlining color. Don't forget to add your detailing pieces of vinyl before adding the black like the vinyl that goes inside the B and the E. One thing I like to do is dry the paint a bit before removing my template. After this, I forget about it for a few hours while it dries. OMG you guys, look at how stinking cute this is. He's such a cute little proper ghost. Hey boo! I love it. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just drop them below. Um, I'm going to add all the supplies that I used in the description box. And don't forget, today's a good day to have a good day. Bye, guys.